Welcome everybody, welcome to the stream. I am terribly sorry, I'm a few minutes late. Um, <clears throat> things happened and I lost track of time a little bit. So here we are, we have got a, a lot of guys here on Discord with us. I'm not sure why some guys are still in the other room, but thank you everyone for joining me. Um, Chris G, Nakan, uh, J Mac, Kevin, Lloyd, Uncle John and Vince. Um, and then for everybody on the stream, I see we've already got 13 guys. Um, I'm busy starting up my explain. And while that is loading, I'm going to quickly uh, get into this web page to get to the Saiveo World Tour system. And then we're going to quickly look at some of the rules and things that we need to be aware of. So that was the whole reason for us actually starting a little bit earlier. Um, I'm just going to calm down a little bit. I'm not going to rush it. And please, guys, if you have any questions, this will be the best time to ask them. And as we read through everything, please make sure that you take note or... Um, is that better, Albapina? Um, make sure that you, you know, keep track of, you know, the information and come back with questions and things like that. So I'm not sure why it's uh, down. I moved it a little bit because of the breathing. Um, let's have a look. See, I didn't change anything else. Everything else should still be the same. I see when I speak, my broadcasting software goes right into the red. So according to me, I think it's just the, the position of the mic. I'll try not to breathe into the mic, so we'll see what happens. Right, I just want to reload the Ziba also while we are here. All right, before we continue, um, just to say hello to Steve G, Yorki, Model Making Agus, um, Abde Razak, I hope I pronounce your name correctly there. Hello to all of you guys there. Um, those are the only names I can see on stream. So forgive me if I skip and miss somebody. All right, gentlemen on Discord, are you guys ready for the briefing? We are. Already in the air, sir. Yes. Okay, okay. All right. So, this is the IVAO uh, IFR World Tour 2021 page, and I'm just going to read some of this with you guys. Um, what is recommended, first of all, is highlighted there in yellow. You must have the charts on board. If you don't have the charts, um, I'll put some on the screen for you and you can follow with me. Um, that's basic aviator business. I mean, you, you should already have charts. If you don't, we need to organize uh, you to get some toolkit pro and some charts and stuff there if they are available or we need to Google some for you. Today, I don't think it's going to be that bad, but some of these airports are tough to go in if you don't have charts guys so it's a it's a very good recommendation that make sure you get charts navigraph obviously preferred all right we are going to fly with the zebo so the second point is not really an issue for us the aircraft must obviously have the performance suitable for flying the leg all right and um, the airport conditions and, and stuff like that the zebo we have got a few guys that have come to me and said yeah they've checked it seems to be 100 percent viable with the zebo in the time that i spent reading through and making flight plans i have not found one route or one airport that is not suitable yet okay so we presume we're going to do this flight or this tour every time with the zebos all right until we get to a point where we can't but i don't see it at, at this time all right we're not going to go over flight level uh, 430 the aircraft's incapable anyway and we're not going to exceed Mach 0.85 aircraft's incapable unless you really try and break it so um, please be aware those are restrictions that you should not cross because if you do your uh, flight is not going to be uh, um, usable you'll have to refly and re refile uh, it at the end if you if you break those rules 
All right. Appropriate aircraft, all these other things, and we've talked about that. Um, approach category allowed in published charts. Um, the Zebo is a Boeing 737-800 NG. It can operate in both Class C and Class D space. So it will be up to you to make sure that if we have a short field that you do not overload your aircraft. That's part of good airmanship and proper flight planning. Um, I think we will all help each other. So if one of you pick up on something that um, you think we should know, like, hey, this is a short field and uh, the density altitude is above 10,000 feet or something like that that could adversely affect the performance of the aircraft or the loading of the aircraft, please be kind enough and just share it with all of us, you know, so that we don't have three guys flying into a mountain or dropping into the sea, you know, while trying to take off or land. Okay. Um, all the flight plans are to be filed for uh, type instrument flight rules, IFR. All right, so they don't want composite flight plans. What they want and what they mean with this is it needs to be a recognized flight plan. So in most cases, you're going to have a SID and a STAR and the flight in between. Uh, GPS Direct, the, this is something that we used to have and I think we actually still have it in, in some of the flight simulators. They don't like that. That's not what flying is about. Nobody in the real world flies GPS direct unless you are in a VFR situation and then you don't qualify for um, the flight rules anyway. Um, Alright, the, all, the, all of the ICAO codes are accepted in the flight plan and some of these legs, we'll get to that later, have made provision for alternatives because depending on whether we fly X-Plane, B3D, FSX or FS2020 or whatever flight simulator you're flying, you might not have the airport. Um, I did not bother to check that far down the list. Um, there aren't that many, but we will cross that bridge when we get there and we will then decide um, what the alternate would be either for takeoff or landing to make the flight valid for us okay all right so another thing um, helicopters and military airplanes are forbidden including your tankers don't bring a Poseidon and come fly the routes they don't want that that's not what this tour is about this is a, an airline tour it's uh, the military guys have got their own tours if you want to fly military aircraft please fly you know in one of those tours all right then what I missed initially and a few other guys have missed is page 2 so it says there in addition to the general rules uh, those were the additional ones we read through now these are the basic rules and there there's one in particular I really really want to bring under your attention all right uh, we'll mention a couple but there's one specific one that stands out a little bit that I'm pretty sure is going to catch Hawk on um, because he didn't read the rules We'll, and he's already flying. So we'll see, Arkan. We'll see if it catches you. Uh, if you check the Discord's uh, IWAY or page, sir, yeah. uh, I have published all the rules and regulations there. Did you read also, them? It doesn't matter that you publish them. Did you read them? This is my third World War tour. Sorry. Okay, uh, all right. Uh, in this case, uh, I am capable to fly this legs. I'm glad. Okay, now I was just scared. I don't want you to lose time, you know. So anyway. Okay, so first of all, uh, all of these routes need to be flown in a real-time mode. Time compression is not allowed. So you can't do this between brushing your teeth and making coffee and, uh, you know, do a, a three-hour flight in 10 minutes and, and then turn around and claim time for it. It won't work. So please make sure you fly in a real-time mode. All right. Uh, some of you I know have uh, mentioned to me that your computers are too small and too slow. You you have to fly in real time mode. Uh, sorry, you have to fly in compressed time mode. Unfortunately, it's not going to work. If you want to do this officially, you're going to have to stop. Um, you, you're going to have to fly in real time mode. All right. Real weather um, is a requirement. All right, so you're going to have to switch your real weather on. Um, you're going to have to either have it in X-Plane or you're going to have it in ASXP or some other weather add-on, but that needs to be on. All right, in the old days, IVAP used to present weather um, and you were able to switch it off. And I think this is more related to the old days, but keep it in mind. I don't think they want you to to just fly this um, without that. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to detect if you do not have real weather on. 
but we'll see. I think part of the excitement is going to be to fly in terrible weather, you know, stuff that you don't do normally. That's part of the fun. So we're just going to enjoy, you know, whatever weather is thrown at us. All right. Legs need to be flown in order and reported within seven days and times must be in UTC format. All right, very important. This tour that we did just before Christmas on the 19th of December, we flew into Ravanami, that Christmas fly in. Um, I have still not received any accolades. I don't think I will because what happened was I did not use the Iveo tracker. I actually used STKP. I have spoken to Dan about it, but at that point in time, and I haven't checked it whether it's fixed already. Um, at that point in time, the uh, logbook in STKP made a mistake and it actually gave me local time, my local time, which was two hours out from the actual UTC time, which um, obviously disqualified me for any accolades there. No naughty badge. You know, so I'm going to show you where you can find the correct information. In fact, let me do it while we are on the subject, and then you guys can also. Um, I did publish it, it, it is in Discord somewhere. I'll republish it if you want me to do. But basically, you, you can go to the Iveo uh, flight tracker, it's called the URL is tracker.iveo.aero. All right, so Denton recommended that I show you guys this and when you do your actual filing, this is personal to you, okay? Each and every flight that you do on Iveo is recorded here and basically this is, you know, where you can pick up on when you did what. All right, so um, what we need to do is we need to obviously get the time for off. In other words, the time that you rotate, which will be that point over there, then 08 Zulu, and time on will be that one. So I just want to see, that's altitude, that's ground speed. Okay, so the yellow one, obviously. That's, that's where you rotated, and that is where you landed. All right, those are the times, and you can see it's in Zulu that you have to put into um, the system. All right, so I'm just going to quickly copy this page to my other browser so I have everything together. All right, so um, again, this is, let me actually put this into, I'm going to put this into the Iveo chat for you guys as well um, let me just find it here in in discord over your chat so when you guys need to make double sure it's good that you make a, a, a handwritten note but if you want to have the same time that i has that that is the official place where you can actually pick up on a rotate and back with wheels on the ground so just make sure you you choose the correct one which will obviously then be the yellow one so that's rotate that's landing you know and and the rest is basically history. And as you continue, in, oh, sorry, now it was in the other page. Obviously, um, going back to the tracker, that's the page. Um, you can obviously come back at any point in time and just double check and make sure that you actually have the correct information. So please be aware of this. Um, if you click on that tracker, it will obviously take you to your own page. You won't see mine, I won't see yours, kind of a thing. It's very, very neatly done in line with GDPR and all those things. Okay. Um, this is the one rule, and this is the other rule that I was worried about Hakan because he's so much in a hurry sometimes. All right. Thank you, Hakan, for explaining that you, you do know about this. But anyway, you. What? Well, what rule are you worried about me, sir? Could you please say? I'm going to repeat it. Well, I'm going to say it now. And then, sorry, not okay. repeat it, just say it now. Okay, so the rule says that you have to be connected for six minutes before, in other words, you have to be connected and the aircraft must be stationary while online for six minutes on the apron or the gate all right, before you basically let go of your brakes and you get going. All right. May I say something? Yes. On this point. Mm -hmm. What is written in front of me right now mm -hmm. on the 
board, mm -hmm. connection time if is 15.25, runway enter time is 15.45 Zulu. Excellent. Thank you. So, so you did, did do that correctly. Okay, so for everybody else that is not as um, skilled as Hakan, guys, six minutes connected before pushback. Okay, and then the next very important thing, and this is where a lot of you guys are going to get caught. Please don't disconnect from Iveo within six minutes after getting back on the block. So when you get to your destination, go into the parking, put on your parking brake, do your shutdown and whatever. You have to wait for six minutes before you disconnect. That will give the Iveo tracker enough time to track you to make sure that you did complete the flight. Okay. Very important, this is, those two. This is very important, but uh, what I am going to tell you, it is not written in the rules. In case of any trouble that you face with, just write my name to Pirep. Everything will be solved for your information. Yeah, thanks, Hakan. Okay. All right. The next one is also then obviously tied in with the first two year right on top of it is after completing a flight, okay, and having waited the six minutes as required, you must disconnect from the network before starting your next flight. Okay, so if any one of you decide that you don't want to wait until every Saturday or Sunday to do one of these flights and you want to go ahead or you want to fly any other tour for that matter, please remember this rule. You cannot fly two legs on one session. You have to break the session up and then do your next leg in the next session. All right. Um, hello, Robert, uh, Robertino. Sorry. Uh, welcome. Welcome. Okay. Then next, um, maximum 20 minutes disconnection. All right. This is for internet outage, PC problems, whatever the situation might be. You cannot be disconnected from the tracker for longer than 20 minutes. Otherwise, you're going to have to just refly that route. Okay, so if you get a problem, this is unfortunately one of the rules you need to abide by. This is very important. While you are prepping to your flight, mm -hmm. you need to write your disconnection and connection time there. Well, um, you don't have to put it as far as I know somewhere in the notes for Iveo, but I would recommend that if you do if you do the file uh, the the filing of the plan, you I think it's just nice good manners to make a note there so, saying sorry, listen, I did lose connection in this and this time, um, you know, and just be aware of it. I think the guys can only have respect for you if you do that. Eh? Some people who evaluate your flight uh, not so carefully check uh, sometimes they uh, enforce you to uh, to say uh, yeah. be before asking to you them just you can write it yeah. this is my recommendation it is not a written rule yeah yeah i understand because, that's what i say yeah because they are uh, approved lots of flights uh, in the world tour in a day in of a course. very short time period of course of course all right, you cannot fly without the correct flight plan, okay? And you have to file the flight plan, guys. Please don't get in the air without filing your flight plan. Uh, it's going to be a big problem, all right? Um, your route obviously have to be correct. Your alternate must be correct, all right? So all of these things are given to you in, in our VA, all right? Let's see if I've got a link to that quickly. All right, so if we look at the actual VA flight, this is the way that I have configured it in the VA. What do you mean sound is gone? Am I back now? I sound, can hear you. Sounds fine for me, yeah, Nico. It must be something with El Papino's side. Yeah, it must yeah. be. Okay, all right, all right. Sorry, Papino, just maybe press Control and F5. I think this is wine effect. Mm. Okay, so just to bring you guys into the picture, and this especially for Uncle John, who asked me, Uncle John, are you here? Mr. Uncle John, radio check. I think he went to make coffee. Most probably. Yeah, okay. So 
I did show this team earlier and I did promise to him that I will give you guys a rundown again. So I'm going to start from flights. Okay. okay. This is there you go, you're back. Here all the time, but every time I go off off and do something else from Discord I have to reconnect again. Okay. All right. So we start by going to the flights. You click on flights at the top. Then if you go to the uh, sub airline section basically you've got skymatics the long haul stuff and then you've got the iveo tours you have to select iveo tours and then you click on find when you get there this will obviously be the first flight working from top to bottom in order um, and then obviously you have to just keep track of which ones you have done and haven't done and and, and so on you can you can also if you look at that number 1074 you can obviously make a note of the flight number and just search on it you see that's another way of doing it so while we are here the the functionality of the VA around this little button at the top this is where you select your bids so you can physically go and select multiple flights you see the color change there in those little uh, bubbles you can select and deselect as you see there all right and then you can you can basically build your own schedule now you don't have to do all of these ones one after another i mean you, in, during the week if you want to fly other flights you know just do one like I've done now, see it's still highlighted, and then obviously you can go to your bids and you can pick it up there again. All right, the same goes for your client. If you look at the actual uh, VA ACOR system and you go do a search by putting that little bubble in there, making the bid, you can easily get to your flights by just clicking on bids here, and there is your flight, and you can simply load it. See, easy as. Okay, so I would suggest and recommend that you follow this idea. Go to flights, find the Iveo ones, bid on it, and it's just easier to find. Now, for the rest of the information that you are required to have, obviously, that is your flight plan. This is like, you know, a little summary it gives you your flight level the recommended flight level the recommend well the distance that that's measured by the system and it tells you to and from right if you want a little bit more information you can click on the actual flight number at the top this will take you and give you your alternate all right it will also again give you your route the two and uh, sorry the from and the two and it also shows you your meter plus a little image all right so the system has got a lot of information in here that you will need so coming back to the world tour it obviously wants to know what the alternate is and what i'm saying to you is there we've given it to you all right that's a viable alternative the alternate um airport all right so um suitable aircraft we've spoken about all right maximum speed below ten thousand. all right you guys need to be aware of this legally unless you are cleared by atc and this brings me back to what Arkan said if atc gives you uh free speed all right or no speed restriction or whatever term they use wherever we fly different countries of different terms okay then you may break the 10,000 feet speed limit of 250 knots but you need to make a note in your report okay that this and this guy said I must do it or can do it all right if you fly without ATC and you bust the speed the guys will look at that and if it is a reasonable breaking of the speed limit okay they won't penalize you but if you just disregard that speed limit and you go from 10,000 feet right down to 3,000 feet without any regard for the speed limit I mean that is going to cost you they're going to reject it right so it has to be a reasonable um breaking of the speed limit then they will let it go through they're not going to worry about that okay i did speak to denton he did clarify it, it needs to be within reason okay all right, all right. um yeah. mm. quickly just before you move on sorry to interrupt hmm. if you get rejected i assume we can 
redo that flight. Yes, yes, you, you can redo the flight as far as I know, and then obviously resubmit it. You will not be able to continue with the next leg until they have accepted the previous leg. So if you have to refly it, you have to refly it. I want to say something about World Tour uh, Rule 10. Mm -hmm. Some specific legs, including specific alternative airport. You need to be careful that uh, sometimes Simbrief can assign automatically an alternative airport for you. Yes. Don't forget to check each Lex requirements in the Lex page. Yes. Because it is a kind of special requirement to put that alternative airport there. Yes. Yes, yes, it has to be correct, okay? So, in South Africa, when you fly from Joburg to Cape Town, which is a, a, a two-hour flight, block, block time, um, Simbrief, for some unknown reason, actually gives you an alternate in another country that's another two hours away from you, when the original and the proper real-world alternate is 30 minutes from you. It's like you know it's not even maybe 30 minutes from you so that's a very good point you have to please make sure all right okay um thank you denton denton is is talking to me here on discord i told you guys we're going to have some pretty high ups in ivaya watching the stream and uh, he's just told me um given me names and and stuff of people that are watching with so he's watching they watching guys um we're actually on it uh, this is a, a privilege to have them yeah thank you guys for watching is he from Ivo? yes all the iveo the, the people i was just talking about all the iveo directors and okay. assistant directors this is my 20th year 20th year that's In good Ivo, okay. you i need to tell him mm, he is, he's hearing you yeah, can you imagine? Mm. I've also got something similar, not quite 20, but very close. Yeah, I know, you are also oldie. Mm. All right, let's continue, Arkan. Um, gentlemen, you have all been trained um, very well over the past couple of weeks and months. You are aware of Unicom 122.8. You must monitor and advise other pilots of their your intentions um, on Unicom 122.8. <coughs> okay, please remember that. I know you guys do it. I just want to just reiterate it. And welcome, John Osborne. You welcome. You welcome. Your 15-20 minutes is appreciated, sir. And obviously, the video will be up later for you to continue watching. Um, all right, contacting the ATC. Uh, pilots must respond um, to the ATC. I mean, we all know that, just as I mentioned. All right, then very lastly, guys, in your remarks, when you file your flight plan, you have to put this little piece into the remarks. Okay, so when I do my flight plan just now, I'm going to show you, I'm going to remind you, and if I forget, please someone remind me as well. I'm only human. All right, so um, that... Second. I need to interrupt you mm. under this situation. Today, what I realized while filing my flight plan mm. on uh, Simbrief, you know, there is a section you, you click to evolve mm. on Simbrief. Yes. When when you click the Evo, there is a box you can check which is called World Tour. When you click that box, automatically your remark will be filled remark World Tour All sentence. Right. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. We will have a look, see if I can see it the way I do it. Otherwise, the guys who do it purely through some brief, keep an eye out for what Arkan was talking about. Um, I don't use some brief, as you guys know, I use some toolkit pro that talks with some brief and sends the information back. So, uh, however, it goes that needs to be in there guys so if i forget please remind me and if you forget i'll try and remind you as well that's very important okay um and that my dear friends that is the the rules okay i'm just going to quickly go to this leg report page quickly 
if my internet will allow us all of a sudden. There we go. Uh, Nico, uh, whilst you're on that subject of uh, the remarks, mm -hmm. um, we notify, uh, I mean, the ATC um, about like if you're a new pilot, because I know on VATSIM we used to put like in the um, remark section to say a new pilot. Yes. So how do we notify like, you know, the ATC operators that uh, there's a new pilot on board? He's still learning. Well, you just add uh, RMK forward slash new pilot as well. That's all. Same thing. Same right, thing as Watson. Same thing as Watson. All right. Um, all right. So we're back to the legs page. Um, this is the 50 legs, guys, that we are going to fly. So in 50 weeks from now, we're going to end there. Um, you guys are welcome to read through it. It's not important for us now. Your tour status. All right, we'll tell you the legs that you have flown, have not flown, the action, whatever is necessary. This is the report where, where you're going to see what happened or not happened. And then obviously PIREP, this is where you come and fill in the blanks. So they're going to ask you the date, the call sign that you used, your departure time. This is a rotate time, so wheels off, okay? And arrival time is wheels on, that's the landing time, okay? And then if you want to add comments and also like we told you already if you spoke to ATCs you need to make a note of all the ATCs that you had contact with when you have filled in all of these things and remember the times are UTC times that's why we recommended that you guys go to the actual tracker to get the actual times so when the guys if they have a query they can go back and look and see oh yeah 1008 Zulu that was the actual time that the guy took off etc um, then all you do is click send as easy as that and you're done all right um the the world tour moderators who actually check and approve the list are very fast okay we shouldn't have to wait two or three days to get the response okay and uh, we're going to obviously you know speak to each other and if there's a problem we can take it higher up but it should be done within minutes after your flight it should be approved or disapproved and then you have to fly again okay Right, so let's see. Good that you explained the example. Remark new to Iveo. That's awesome. All right, and wheels above the threshold. All right, yeah, same, same, similar idea. All right, any questions, gentlemen? No, I think you've been pretty thorough with that. Yeah, I try and help as best I can. Yeah. I believe that we are so clear. We are explained everything, sir. All right. I'm, I'm glad. Okay, good. So the next step for us is going to be, and I think I lost my, hold on, let me just get all my browsers and everything back in play here where it should be. And that goes there. And then what, what do I want to do with you guys? Actually, don't need you. You I can keep for later, and the tracker I can keep for later. All right, so. Okay, that takes us to actually the aircraft, I suppose, hey? All right, so I'm going to start doing the flight planning and all. Before we do that, I just want to quickly show you. I didn't know the scenery existed, gents. Um, I just acquired it from uh, the Oak store for 19 US dollars it looks pretty impressive let's connect I'm gonna quickly okay no it won't help I need to do the planning first all right first things first so SDKP Did I put the wrong IKO in there? Let me just get my facts straight. SCEL. Uh, SCEL. Is that not uh, Sierra Charlie Echo Lima? Yeah. I just had to look it up quickly. All right. So I have a situation of a runway 17. 
or a runway 19. I'm not familiar with the area. Have any of you done actual scouting? Do you know what it looks like? Like Earlier, ATC was on one seven left was being used. Ladies and gentlemen, ATC in Cordoba active uh, for your information. Okay, and in Santiago? Uh, one well, nine. Now, is the ATC there as well? Yeah, where we are? Oh, oh. Yes, ATC. No, there's no ATC here, Nico. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, okay, let's get the lay of the land. That all is always a good place to start. So we're going to start SEL and S A C O Cordoba. All right, the alternative is going to be S A O S. Create. So I'm just going to quickly copy this flight plan from our database from from the VA and save it. Uh, Albapina, you have 20 minutes of disconnect time during a flight. So what I would suggest is just keep your eye on it. You obviously have to be in the cockpit and monitor the flight. So when it drops, just reconnect as soon as possible. And then, like uh, Hakan said, uh, make a remark in when you in your your IVO uh, PIREP when you file it with them that it did disconnect and give them a, a, a time, you know, that they that they have something to work with. Okay, so am I being silly? You're never silly. All right, I'm looking. Okay, I see this is a temporary chart. Okay. So the question was, which runways are we going to use? And someone said 19 and someone said 17. If we look at the temporary airport chart, 19 is a very shorter runway that would have been 17 right so they've shortened the runway it looks like they cut off pieces it's been removed so the question now is what does the scenery look like does the scenery reflect that you go i think the majority of people have picked one seven left for takeoff at this airport okay cool thank you kevin active runway is one nine for your information there is no runway 19 Akan. that's the whole point um or, or let me put it this way the it's half of runway 17 uh right you understand so no 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 for landing so i'm talking about. Uh, yeah okay but you're confusing us don't do that um no, it doesn't okay. help please okay okay so we'll take one seven left All right, okay, so I'm quickly going to answer Olaf's question. Olaf left a question here on Discord. Olaf, I'm not sure if you're actually watching, but this is for you. You asked me how to determine the SID and the STAR. So it's all about the name, all right? So that first waypoint is called a NEBEG, all right, N-E-B-E-G. So we're going to have to find a SID that takes us from the correct runway, which will be 17 left, to that point and the clue is in the name so it gives us two options and uh, there it tells us runway 17 you can clearly see that name and that name is similar or exactly the same so uh, that's the best way of determining which one would be the correct one the other one would simply be a procedural thing um, so I prefer that one because the other one has got a very short shallow turn so I'm going to stick to the default all right here you go that is 
17 left. All right, the other one actually came from 17 right. So I don't know why they include it there. It's, it's not important. We're going to skip it anyway. So just by looking at the charts, we know that 17 right. We're going to fly straight out and that uh, Nebe 5 Charlie is the actual correct one. So we're happy with that. Then on the other side, Arkan says that there is ATC. So a uh, quick way of just checking this whole story is just going to the Iveo web eye and seeing if we can actually pick up on anything. Arkan? Arkan? It's only Cordoba Sender that's on. Yeah, and this is why I want to ask Arkan something, but he's not hearing me. Arkan? You can see he's not hearing me at all. Oh, he's, he's muted himself. Sorry, I've just noticed he's muted himself. My question was how does he know because there's no ATIS and he's there already so I, I mean he's obviously talking to the ATC guy that's how he knows that the runway 19 is um, is active so pardon my ignorance okay so sorry that's what we want Nico I'm looking at the uh, METAR on uh, SIMBRIEF and uh, winds at uh, Sierra Alpha uh, Charlie Oscar 190 at uh, one two. Yeah, I I know, uh, Bapina. That's why we arguing about, or debating it. Sorry. All right. Yes, sir. Um, Vince, I've just checked the meter here in STKP as well. Uh, one nine zero at one two. So one nine. It's like smack on the nose, basically. Okay. So we'll rest with that. I just needed to make sure. Um. All right, so it basically gives us that as a suggestion, and this is going to be a bit of an issue because now so one nine does come from the top there. Nico, I have a suggestion. Yes, sir. Um, I chose an ILS uh, V Victor 219 mm -hmm. using the H transition okay. and just went direct from our final uh, fix on the route. All right, let's have a look. See. Okay, mine does not do that, Vince. You say IL is V on runway one nine with the H transition. Yes. But I used uh, the the uh, uh, the star. Um, is it appropriate to go direct from our LDEX direct to the H transition for the approach? Um, when you are under ATC control, it's probably going to give you vectors. Okay, but theoretically i would say not really because um the star is there for a reason it takes you closer so by skipping that i would say it's fine under atc control and it's fine if you fly alone but if you're gonna fly you know with a group of guys and there's other traffic in the area most guys just by default being summers you know will probably take the actual star so uh, it's i don't think it's right and wrong you do it your way, I do it my way. The ATC is going to interfere with us anyway. So. And I took uh, oh, I ILS Zulu 19 with the CBA, which takes you over the airport and the teardrop back in again. That's right, huh? All right. Well, if you take Aldec. Uh, or LD1 X-ray and you simply go to finals directly you don't even have to do, do a teardrop so IL is Zulu on 19 and you just go to finals you see what I mean it just takes you to that point and you turn in onto the ILS 
again, not right and wrong. You do it your way, I do it my way. You, you understand? I mean, as long as you guys are happy, I'm happy. Roger that. Alternative would be an RNAV. That's not all nav. That's not all nav there. No, it actually also doesn't really help. No, I'm just going to keep it here to the ILS um, onto finals. Z onto finals. Add one. Thank you, John. Enjoy yourself. Bye bye. I was going to say, Nico, if Cordova send is still on, that's probably the way he'll affect the way. In anyway. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I hope he stays on and we have some ITC action. Okay, well, I'm happy with this route, gents. Um, I don't have a problem with this. So we've got the departure, we've got the arrival, as said, um, a star and the final approach there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this into memory. It's okay. Enjoy, and then I'm going to export this as well. Santiago, there you go. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the stream, and I'm glad uh, that you have noticed. And uh, yeah, thank you. We we are going to enjoy this. I'm pretty sure. So there you go. I've exported this flight plan. I've copied it. Let's go and build this in SDKP. All right, so there we go. SCEL. What, what is this IK of <laughs> the other side again? Hang on, let me get it on screen here for myself. Uh, SACO. Yeah, Thanks, Kevin. When are you going to go? One seven eighty four. Uh, what is our time? Make that a five leader. That's fine. All right. So I'm still me here for you, Uncle John. Hundred. Hello, Bruno. Sorry, what did you say, buddy? I said I've just started me here for you. Okay, sir. All right, so let's quickly have a look. See, in my loading, I have this. No, man, one thousand two hundred and one eighty nine in packs. All right, so it's one eighty nine and one thousand one point two. For that one, one nine left, one nine, and pasted. Hello, William Thomas. Welcome, welcome. Right, our alternate is is a o s is a o s. All right. Cost index will be. 20 and let's actually grab active sky and have a look see what our test flight level would be 330 it's my first guess uh, it's not the best but it's okay it's workable all 
right, so I'm going to click on create the flight plan. It's now sending all the information to SimBrief and we just have to wait for the OFB to come back. So in the uh, STP, you don't put uh, the given uh, a flight, uh, flight level? I did, I did. That was the last thing I did. It was 330. All right, okay. All right, then I'm going to quickly file this flight plan. All right, so we have tick 001. All of these things should be exactly as given. Then what we need to do is that remark we were talking about earlier. We need to go and grab that remark. Okay, there's World Tour. There is it. There is what Hakan was talking about. So I don't even have to go back to go and fetch it from my Veo. Did you guys spot that? Did you see that? There's just World Tour. And when you click it, it, it puts there World Tour. Uh, 350. Yeah, I see. I see. Okay, so I'm going to change this. to Um, Lloyd. Yes, yep. I must have had finger trouble because I was supposed to click 330 and I obviously received 350, which means that um, when I clicked, I misclicked. You understand? All oh, right, right. Okay. That's I, all right. I think that's what you picked up on and I didn't. Um, yeah, yeah. What I picked up, yeah. I was just, you know, yeah. just trying to see. Yeah. Well, let's see what you see. This this is now going to give me three five zero, and then it's actually given me step climbs. Um, this is giving me step climbs up to three seven zero. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do that. We we're gonna rest. Um, it's not something that I type, Owen. It's something that I was supposed to click, and either I misclicked or I didn't click, and it stayed on auto, or whatever the situation was. I, I'll have to review the video. I don't know what I did there. It happened too fast. Alright, so basically, um, I'm going to put that on 370, because we're going to do step climbs according to my brief OFP, and I'm going to show that to you guys now. So, because I did not concentrate in that split second, this is the result. So, it says that we need to climb 350 and then we go to 370. Um, you're welcome, Owen. So, anyway, okay. So, we're going to rest then with what this one says. Just as a matter of interest, I'm going to show you guys something else. Right, when I go into my flight plan over here and I go to briefing, it actually tells me that 370 is a better flight level. It actually tells me, and that's one of the things I mentioned to you. You know, I'm just going to stick to 330, which obviously didn't pan out. So anyway, there you go, 370. I hate being human sometimes, but it does happen. There you go, so now we are on the correct the most favorable flight level, 370. So now Active Sky is going to be in sync with our plans anyway okay so we're going to push the climb a little bit because this is not that far to fly and i think that might be a little bit high for this route to be quite honest so anyway all right so there's the world tour we've ticked world tour it's put in world tour as a remark so we don't have to worry about that i hope you guys remembered um all right the rest is much of a muchness we are filed now we're ready to go fly excellent Owen all right
that's me connecting to Iveo quickly. And there we can see the other Skymatics and the land chili guys. Welcome gentlemen, welcome to the session. <laughs> Lots of little ticks all around. I'm proud of you guys. Wow. Amazing. I'm watching Mr. Hawk on landing. Okay. Ticks fever. Oh, yes. How far is this place? It's longer than I thought. Can't be. It cannot be. Saika. Mm-hmm. Yes, you must, Owen. Gentlemen, there's something I just want to quickly check. Just bear with me. Hmm, look at this. This is what I've picked up. Look at that point over there. We don't want to fly there and go to Seiko. I mean, that is wrong. That is completely wrong. That is completely wrong. Completely, completely, completely wrong. And I think it's that, that Z. Yeah, it's that Z that has thrown everything out. Uh, Bruno, I've got it, but I'm not happy with it. That is, is not a good update. Um, I, I see too many false positives, it complaining about things that it shouldn't complain and all. I'm really not happy with that version. Um, but that's just me. I'll, I'll have to investigate a little bit further there. That thing literally complains about every one of my libraries. Every time I install a scenery and then it, it basically says that you need to get a new library. Um, like for instance the Camille de Bell library, it hasn't been updated in four years. So where must you get a new one? There is no new one. It just doesn't exist. You know, so it's confusing me terribly right now. Right, I'm going to create a new flight plan and I'm gonna try this again because this 
Z, whatever that Z is, wherever it got it from, it's probably because it's ILS Z. We'll have to have a look, see there. Copy. I'm going to have to go and fix this. And this time I'll remember to do the 330 because there's no point in going that high. Um, yes, Santiago, that is true, but there is a center controller and that is his appointed runway. He's using that, um, the controller, his option. And we've got good brakes, so we, we should be okay. It's going to make that 25 now. Uh, back that is 189 and this is 1.2 I'd actually be a bit too much I'm actually gonna change that to zero we're not gonna take any cargo today we are a full house we've got enough passengers on board let's just change that That one out, that's going to be one nine. It's a O S. All right, so C I twenty three three zero. Right, so now we don't have that Z in there, and there's nothing funny. It should work. Let's do that. And then I must just amend my flight plan on Niveo. I know it did the same with me. We have discussed this, but I'm going to use 330 because it's not that long a flight. I'm going to amend this to 330. I mean, this to 25, and that should be better. All right, that must now be fixed. So that's better there. I think that should be it. So, save the flight plan. Right, way better, way, way better. Notice it's invalid, why? Well, Navigraph accepts it, and we know there will be ATC, so... It was part of the copying of the flight plan. I I, I don't know where it comes from, Erwin. I had to remove it and start over. Okay, so... Yay, nay, who knows? I don't know what's going on here. Let's see if there is a better one. That might actually not be a bad one. So if we fly in there. I have landed. Wonderful. 
I saw you, Mr. Hakan. What? I was watching you, Mr. Hakan. Ah, yes, it is rested. Uh, all right, that's going to be a better one. And Hakan, did you land on runway 19? Is that what ATC gave you? Yes, exactly, sir. Okay. Then we're sticking to it. It doesn't make sense that Aldex isn't part of it. it. I don't agree with that at all. I don't agree he with that will, story. That's exactly will, what it is. Sorry? He will send you to Sierra uh, Charlie Bravo Alpha first. Then we'll give you Radar Vector. Charlie Bravo Alpha, where is that? It is Cordoba's main view. Over the airport. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. That old dex, I don't see why it's not valid, but anyway, I'm going to stick to my guns. We'll leave it at that. That runway 5 doesn't make sense, so we're going to go for runway 19 finals. I have landed with 600 FPM. <laughs> Oh, there are two trees uh, just before to runway. For your information, two trees. <laughs> okay. By the way, this airport is really good one, uh, and this flight is a really good one. I recommend to everyone. Okay, excellent, Tarkan. I'm just going to export this one again. Alright, and we will rest with this. Alright, so. I'll double check um, as we continue then. Alright, now this, my friend, looks like a workable flight plan. And I can see the block fuel and everything is fine. I immediately picked up there was something wrong when I checked that block fuel. 12 tons, 12.6 12 tons was just, no, uh-uh. -oh. Wrong. Right, so payload. And there we go. What the hell? Wrong button. Okay, so that's loading. We can do our planning. So everybody was pointing that way, so I suppose that is correct. Going to cockpit. Canon knowledge. Coming through the menu when you are ready. That takes care of uh, that. All right.
Uncle John? Yeah. Sorry, you wanted to say something there. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to say something. Uh, I wanted to ask you, um, you know, the client software on the Iveo called, yeah. is it Aurora? Is it only for the... Uh... I ITC. Aurora is ITC. You need altitude. ITC only. All right, yeah. okay. You need altitude, sir. All right, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, so the Zebra picked it up, but Navigraph let the star through. So how's that? Right, let's go have a look, see what that looks like in the Zebo. Okay, so it literally takes us there, and then there, yeah, that's a problem, ah, I pressed the wrong button, how it looks now. Ah, 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 there is a discontinuity. I can fix that. So we're doing no star, ILS 19 CBA, that's fine. So from all decks it goes directly to CBI. Okay. Whatever, as long as you're happy. It's fine. Three zero right means two seven five. I have prep. Prepped for what? Prep by flight. Are you flying it again? No. I am waiting for a pool. Oh you oh you pirated your flight. Okay, got it. Yeah. I understand. Trim up. One zero one three on the ultimate there. Very interesting. Three 
Right guys, eventually I'm going to start my APU. Wow. Nico? Yes. When I go to details uh, in Evo for my details, my account details, mm -hmm. it, it says that the user is not registered as VA member. I am registered to you. No, no, no. I'm the only one that gets registered as the VA member if you go to the VA site. If you go search for the VA and so on, you'll see my name is listed as the contact person. I don't think each individual user gets listed. I see. Uh, by the way, if you look at the screen that I share uh, in the okay. Discord, you will see some green status there. Hold on. Ah, uh, Fabio Panocci, my man. <laughs> Approved. Approved. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Cool. That's quick, eh? Yeah, but what I have written, 1614 Zulu seemed disconnected and I immediately connected back in 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. And also I have connected to 126.5 Sierra Alpha Charlie Fox Sierra Center. All right, excellent. For your information. That is wonderful, sir. Now connected and bypass being inserted. Release parking brake. I love seeing dixes all over, man. All right, okay, well, let us do this then. Ascend and release the parking brake. Albapino, enjoy, my friend, and thank you for flying with. It's awesome to have you here, and so the same for everyone. But while you are going, good luck, my friend, and enjoy whatever you do next. Before start procedure. Ah, and there is Linda bombing out. She died, or the voice at least died, so... I'm not even going to try and restart her, because the last time we tried that, it crashed my sim out. And after all that, I'm not starting over. So we'll skip her like a big red stop sign. This was a challenging pre-flight. I'm finally taxiing for departure. I, I can agree with you 100%. My goodness, or as Paul says, my hat. That was hell, getting this pre-flight done to a certain extent. But it was also part of the fun, eh? Absolutely. Uh, definitely worth the uh, staying with it and uh, persevering. Oh, yeah. You have to come over some nice mountains. Oh, yes. Yeah, interesting departure.
Operation complete. Set parking brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Is disconnected and bypass beam has been removed and signal on the right. We'll see you next time and uh, have a safe flight. Glad it took the time to uh, download Ortho for that departure. Yeah, I'm going to see mine shortly. Laps five set. I think that's us ready to go. We sticks 20 and 58. Why are you guys moving so fast? Are you slewing or replaying or something? Hey Nico, it's J-Mac. I'm 20. I'm moving uh, at uh, 14 not. Okay, now then it's a network thing. Yo, it looked weird. Yeah, I saw that on your, uh, your uh, YouTube. Hello, Ryan. Yeah, happy new year to you too. Check these packs boarding here. There was a guy with a suitable case getting up the stairs there. Oh, I just missed him. Oh, there's another one coming. Excellent. Nice scenery, wow. Hmm. The scenery is just uh, breathtaking. Yeah. If Santa is available still there, he learned Tix is Skymatix. Awesome. He's gone offline now by the looks of it. He's getting getting tick fever.
Ryan, that's just a model in the scenery. That's something they made just for that. Not sure where they get it from. Like this helicopter flying around here. Yeah, Uncle John. Oh no, he's not listening. He's probably under ADC now. You know what this scenery reminds me of is Alicante. They've also got a helicopter flying around there, just like we have here. They've got the similar model where the people uh, embark, you know, onto the aircraft, actually get on. Um, just reminds me so much of that scenery. That's the payware scenery you're using, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it goes. There's the helicopter going again. For, for a minute I thought it was a uh, highway traffic. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, it's part of the scenery. I well, this is depressing. I was kicked off of the network again, and I didn't realize it. I've taken a half hour to get reset, so I'm just going to fly off network and, and redo this flight later. Okay. ITC has just uh, gone. Mr. Nico. Yeah. It seems that the Cordoba control is losing internet connections sometimes. Okay, it's very he's possible. Gone, uh, he's gone on and off uh, yeah, for a few couple times. of minutes more. Yeah. yeah, a few times, yeah. There's definitely a network issue because even the spacing between Avaya and um, ICOS is drastically out of sync. Kevin is just stuck in the air, he's hovering. Okay, um, guys, I've just received a notice here from Iveo that they have picked up on some um, internet issues and they're busy sorting it out with their hosting provider. I told you the big boys are, are watching us here, so they obviously listened to what you were saying and there's some investigation that's happened. How's that for service? A great service. Yeah. It's my, so fault. it's my fault, it's just I touched the edge of the area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but actually, it was just before I was going to report top of descent, and they disappeared. <laughs> but then he came back, and I reported it, and it had gone again. Well, I'm He's going to go in a Right, so I'm just going to park over here so I can do this whole pre-flight thing that Linda usually does for me. So, Daxi can come off. Squawk can come on.
unstabilized. I'm so used yeah, to The FAO server is unstable for quite some hours now. Yes. It keeps uh, disconnecting all the time. Yeah. Very busy checking it. Approaching one seven left. On runway one seven left. Flaps ten set. Take off thrust set. I thought it was my flaps, it was the speed brake for some reason. I must have pressed, pressed the wrong button sometime. There you go. On FAO now is not only the quarter bar control but also quarter bar approach online. Ooh. Yes, there is a lot of aircraft. And the arrival runway is 90. Okay. Runway turn off, lights off. Oh, Linda, is she, is she back to life now? No, I'm not even going to try. If I restart that uh, little widget, it usually crashes my sim out. So I'm ignoring her like a stop street, like I said. A big old red stop sign. Flaps one set. Approaching transition. Flaps upset. Transition altitude. Do you have Orto for XP for this flight? Yes. Very good. Owen, that's fine. Yeah, it is a pity, but um, enjoy whatever you do. Shame, man. Sorry. Good evening, Mr. Orbin. Thank you, sir. I really want the first unaccepted 
Vampire. People have been talking away to you, John, but you couldn't get couldn't get no response. Negative. I was pretty busy setting up for descent. You know what I'm like. I like to be in front. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you in front or behind me, Kev? I'm uh, in front of you. I've got Anthony behind me, and then you're behind Anthony, I believe. Fourteen. That's Reggie. I think my only regret is I didn't manage to get the orthos done. Yeah, well, I'm just looking at the authors uh, on Nico's stream. It looks quite good, I must admit. Yeah, I would imagine they will be. I'm going to throttle this wench. Yeah, I must say these authors look really good. The, the coloring is a bit nah, but I mean overall at least you get the picture, you know. It's really, really not that bad. Yeah, it's pretty good, Nico, I think. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see when you come over the mountains, that'll look good. Mm. It was nice until I hit some clouds. You have to go right over that peak in front of the air uh, and go. <laughs> mm. Who is Tick 3? Paul. Tick 60. Tick 4. Look in the VA website, click on That's pilots. Me. Yeah, and then you can see. Wrong button. No, I gave him a message, I didn't say it's just, it's just dropped me off. Yeah, I just uh, lost the connection as well. Yeah, likewise. Me too. I'll just uh, give you guys a position reports on this company channel. 
Well, you guys need to try and reconnect to keep the flight alive. Otherwise, we're gonna have to do it uh, tomorrow morning again. I've reconnected already, uh, Nico. Ah, uh, now I'm back on. You would think you wouldn't be able to get over that mountain, eh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looked a bit effy. But, man, it's beautiful here. Looks nice, yeah. These are deep, but still beautiful. Wow. I just had any connection problems, I just can't. Yeah, I got disconnected as well, Reggie, but I got connected again virtually straight away. Wow, look yeah, how close yeah. to the edge I'm flying here to Orthos. Wow. Yeah, he got missed. I didn't understand as well. So I'm on the teardrop now. Have you reconnected? No, I've disconnected and gone on uh, onto Unicom anyway. So you yeah, but your flight. Yeah, you can't log your flight then. Uh, well, no, I'll have to do. I'll do it again. It's not a problem. Definitely right guys, I'll catch you later. Okay. I'm just gonna hop up to the shop here. Uh, probably I'll catch you before touchdown. Okay. Um, guys, I'm looking at the live map. I see um, two people have messed around with their flight numbers again. I've repeatedly asked you guys, please don't do that. Do not change your numbers. You're messing the database up. Um, so whoever put in TIX830 and TIX0051, guys, I hope you hear me and I hope you don't do it again. Please don't do that. You don't have to say I or own up on live stream, but please take note, don't do that. It, you're not supposed to change anything in the A course in terms of flight numbers and IKO codes. You've got enough notes out of it, Nico. Yeah, we've spoken about it. Look, everybody's not always there to hear it, but we have asked the guys um, in the VA chat channel. But anyway, enough of that. Just please don't do it again. That those fields must actually be read only. I don't know why they even allow any editing.
Oh, that was a lovely trip over those mountains. I just need more though. I didn't realize we were going to get so close to the edge. Do you have enough space on your hard disk for that? Yes, sir. Plenty of space. to level off. That's me go. I can cry if you will scold me. Ladies and gentlemen, once again from the uh, flight deck, we'll level off now at our cruising altitude. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the fasten and seatbelt sign. I'd like to quickly ask if you are staying in your seats to keep those seatbelts comfortably fastened for your safety. On board computer shortage on time arrival, no ETC delays either. We're going to stay quiet up here, have you enjoy the uh, flight and the service. Once again, welcome aboard. And it seems I'm in this guy's space and he hasn't spoken to me. So let's quickly rectify that. Where are we now? Mendoza Center, good evening and sorry, I beg your pardon. Good afternoon to you, sir. Uh, Skymatix 001, flight level 330. We are inbound a solo. Skymatrix 001, Mendoza Center, good afternoon, sir. Quack 2701, please. 2701, Skymatrix 001. 2701. Skymatrix. 001, Mendoza, Red Bear, contact, level 330, continue as files. Thank you, sir, continue as files, comatic 001. Right.
Skymatic 058 to Mendoza Center, are you in this frequency? Center 058 uh, with you now at uh, flight level 330. Skymatic 058 to Mendoza Center, Roger, squawk 2702, please. 2702, uh, Skymatic 58. Climatic 058, Mendoza Center, with our contact line level 330, reaching position of this. Continue as site. Continue as file, Skymatic 058. Again, uh, squawk. Squawk 2702. 2702, Skymatic 58. Correct. Good afternoon, Center. Uh, Skymatic 20, uh, inbound to OPSIS, level 330. Skymatic 020, good afternoon, in the center, squad 2703, please. Squawking 270, Skymatic 20. Climatic 020, Mendoza Center, radar identified, uh, flight level 330, continue as filed. Schematic 020, continue as filed, on route to OPSIS. Correct. Shamrock 27 Kilo Center, good afternoon, go ahead. Good afternoon, sir. Shamrock 27 Kilo, we have an iPod in Santiago, Chile. Level 260, we are at level 4 in Nova, we are ready to go. 270 kilo, Roger, stand by please. Shamrock, choose and kilo, I'm in the center, are you ready to copy? We are ready to copy, Shamrock, choose and kilo. Shamrock, choose seven kilo, clear day, part to Santiago de Chile, flight level 260 as filed, departure Gal 1 Echo, pack 2700. 
Clear for IFR flight plan, Cessna Santiago Chile, level 260 over file. Departure via call 1 Echo, runway 18, clock 270, Shamrock 27 kilo. Shamrock 27 kilo, read back X, correct. Advice 34, push and start. Active runway 18. Push runway 18, and we will go Shamrock 27 kilo. Thank you. Próximo a nivelar nivel de vuelo 390. 230 Mendoza Centro, buenas tardes. Está identificado el radar. Próximo a ingresar a la región de información de vuelo con nivel de vuelo pasando a nivel de vuelo 320. Continúa ascenso a nivel de vuelo 390. Continúa ruta plana. Ascenso a nivel de vuelo 390. Muchas gracias. Skymatic 058, Mendoza Center, you are leaving my face. Contact now Space Center frequency 135.5. Good day. It's lovely, Crester. Center on 135.5. Good day. Have a look there, all of those black aircraft that you see there, every single one is one of our VA aircraft. Every single one, there's multiple on each other, there's multiple. That is not bad guys, thank you so much, so awesome to see. Yeah, it is fun. And this is what you are doing it for, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I must admit, I'm sitting here so relaxed. No care, just enjoying what's happening. Nice landing, Paul. He's on the ground. Excellent. Skymatic 023, Mendoza Center, are you in this frequency? Skymatic 23. Skymatic 023, yes. 023, Mendoza Center, Quack 2705, 
Thematic 023 Mendoza Center, radar identified over position ESITO. We have a 330 proceed as filed. Skymatic 020, you are next to live in Mendoza airspace. Contact now, Cordoba radar frequency 125, decimal 5. Have a good day, bye bye. Thank you. Skymatic 20, thanks for your services. 020, negative, the frequency 126, decimal 5. I'm sorry, 126, that's all fine. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. Fatma, 230, solicito nivel de vuelo 330. 230 recibido, mantenga nivel de vuelo 370. Fatma, 230, nivel de vuelo 370, muchas gracias. Christian, everywhere I click, every aircraft just ticks, ticks, ticks. <laughs> ah, this is so cool. Yeah, I need more water in this area. Look at this. <laughs> almost Christer, almost now I, I'm not a very good entertainer, the guys will get bored if they're not really interested eh? um, I'll have to find a mascot or some angle to entertain anyway um, one of the things that I've been thinking about is um, doing a world tour like this obviously introduces us to new routes, new Climatic airports. Climatic 001 Mendoza Center, you are next to live in Mendoza Airspace, contact now, call radar frequency 126, have a good day, bye bye. Thank you sir, thank you for your service, good day, we switching 126 decimal 5, Skymatic 001. You're welcome, bye bye. You're in push star, Shamra. I mean, this opens so many new routes, it's not even funny, it's just amazing to fly, you know, 
in places we haven't been. Center, good day, Skymatics 001. Sorry, what's wrong? Confirm, Skymatics 001. AFM, sir, Skymatics 001 at Teron. Okay, sir, maintain flight level 330, I left Zulu, runway 19. Proceed direct Charlie Bravo Alpha B1. Uh, we'll proceed uh, direct Charlie Bravo Alpha and maintain flight level 330, uh, runway 19 Zulu expected, Skymatic 001. Affirmative, sir. Call me ready for descent. We'll call you ready for descent, Skymatic 001. So according to the FMC, it's expecting us to descend already. So why don't we do that? Uh, Skymatic 001, ready for descent. Skymatic 020. Hello. Skymatic 001. Um, start descent flight level 310. Well, descent 310. Skymatic 001. Yeah, Skymatic 058 at 29000. Sorry, say again. Skymatic 58 level at 29000. Okay, Roger, let me check with you probably the other station are closed. Let me check. Okay, scan battery 058, uh, uh, descend, continue descend, flight level 110, please. Descend 110, scan battery 58. Okay, Camate 05, contact now 119er decimal 1, Camate Land, it's you. Bells we go. 119 decimal 1, Camate 5. Okay. Skymatics rush hour for ATC. Absolutely. All the Texas are bugging them. You were thinking of having a quiet Saturday afternoon. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, Krister. Nicole, request something, sir. Um, zero to zero is ahead of me. He needs to go down okay, first. You, uh, Zero 
Approach has left the building. Okay, Chama is 058, the other frequency is not working now. Uh, okay, you may continue your descent, flight level 70. Flight level 70, Skymatic 58. Break from Skymatic 0 to 0, continue descent level 110. Descend to level 110, Skymatic 20, thank you. Break from Skymatic 0, 0, 1, descent level 130. Descent flight level 130, Skymatic 001. Skymatic 001, descent level 130, please. Yes, sir, we're going down to 130, Skymatic 001. Skymatic 001 Cordova, do you read? He doesn't, do you not read me, sir? Hold on. Uh, do you read me, sir? Skymatic 001? Nine, okay. Uh, Descent level 130 to Charlie Bravo. Thank you, sir. We did hear you, so we have initiated the descent going down to 130, Skymatic 001. Oh, yes, perfect for me. Break, break. Skymatic 058 after Cordoba, maintain present heading initial vector runway 199. Skymatic uh, 58 again. Again, after Cordoba, Charlie Bravo Alpha, maintain present heading initial vector runway 19. After uh, Charlie Bravo Alpha maintain uh, vector to ILS 19. Affirmative, sir. Uh, you may continue your descent now 3,600 feet. Let me say the QNH. QNH at Cordova 1009. Again for Skymatic 058. Really after uh, you may be seen now 3,600 feet, QNH Cordova 1009. I'm on temperature and heading. Skymatic 58, say again. Say again, descend 3,600 feet, QNH Cordova. 1009, maintain present heading. Call, I'm Descent not ignoring 3, you. 6,000 feet, correction, descending to 3,600 feet, maintain uh, present heading. Is that correct? And confirm QNH 1009. QNH 1009, and uh, say heading. Uh, Present heading to uh, initial fix, ILS 19. Now uh, heading uh, zero 050, zero, zero 050, sir. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll call. Anyway, I'm okay. I hope you're okay. Heading zero 050, Skymatic today. Roger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a big moment, man. It's a big moment. Schematic 020. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, it happens, it happens. And uh, yeah, about the, the accent. Yeah, it's amazing how you can pick somebody from the accent. Eh? Yeah, I think the moment is a bit big for everybody concerned, um, both ATC and pilot, and um, you know that's where the little whiteboard and the marker comes in, so you can quickly write down things. I mean, even I get flustered sometimes. It happens, you know. Nothing to be ashamed of. Well, I had to disconnect. Why? That wouldn't talk to me. Yeah, they've gone offline, John. I gave up in the Finnish cabin. I, I sent them messages after message. Well, Uncle John, you shouldn't disconnect because you you need to find a frequency that works because now you're going to have to fly I the tried, route again. I tried. I tried. Okay. Are you okay? So you disconnected from my way. Completely. I had no choice to go because yeah. I needed to come in. I didn't want to hit somebody else. Of course, of course. You make a go around. Yes, Okay, uh, just for red and minima, continue climb 3600 feet. I'm at 10% here. How do you do this bit? The same for me, I was at a very critical stage. Uh, to start messing about with that would have just messed it up for me as well. Being not overly experienced, that's it. Hold on. Fly level 4-5, please. 4-5 for Kaimati 0-2-0 and review speed it 2 Yeah, I had to quickly block the guys level four five zero speed 200 knots, Kaimatic 0-2-0. Skymati zero, uh, zero 06, fly heading, uh, fly heading 300. Zero zero. Skymati zero, 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 zero. Zero, 020, after Cordova of UR, fly heading uh, zero 070. Zero. Kaimate 0 to 0, fly now, heading 0 to 0, number 3 for approach. 0 to 0 for Skymatic, 0 to 0. Okay, say again, heading 0 to 0, 0 to 0 for you. That's we go. Sorry, 0 to 6 0. Break Kaimate 0 5 8, left heading 2 to 0, final sector, clear for approach, runway... Uh, one liner coming for the stop. Uh, Skymatic 58, uh, heading 230, uh, intercept ILS, will contact, uh, establish Skymatic 58. Skymatic 058, say again, heading 230, heading 230 to your left. 230, Skymatic 58. Skymat is 0 to 0, continue, yeah, uh, right, heading 0, 9, and 0. Right, heading 0, 9, and 0. Skymat is 0 to 0. Right, heading 0, 9, 0. Skymatic 0, 20. Roger, break, Skymat is 0, 0, 1. Fly now, heading 0, 9, and 0. Descend, fly level 7, 0. 0, 9, and... Uh, zero, 9, and 0, and flight level 7, 0, for Skymatic 0, 0, 1. Good day, Sister. Skymatic 0 to 3, flight level 330. Good afternoon, Skymatic 0 to 3, weather contact. Uh, maintain flight level 330, runway 19er uh, at Cordova. Uh, from present position, proceed direct to Libra Alpha BUR, call me for descent. Say 
game for the Kaimati 0 to 3, runway 19, Ayeres Zulu at Cordova. Proceed direct Charlie Bravo Alpha B1, call me ready for descent. Sky Matic 0 to 3, can you text me please? Okay. Maintain flight level zero zero three. Sky Medic zero two three. Runway nineteen at Cordoba. Sky Medic zero two three. Affirmative, call me ready for descent. Call you ready for descent. Kaibati 0 to 0, fly heading north. Repeat for 0 to 0. Uh, fly heading north, 360. 360 for Skymatic 20. Kaibati 0 0 6, fly heading 270. Kaibati 006, fly heading 270. Heading 270, schematic 60. Schematic 058, confirm full established, please. We'll runway 19. Okay, uh, wind is uh, 180, 60 knot clear to land, runway 19. Clear to land 19, schematic 58. Okay. Kaimati 001, fly heading 040. 040 zero zero for Skymatic 001. Zero zero to level off. Thousand to go. Wow, it's densely populated here. Look at this. Sure. Schematic zero two three descent fly level two nine or zero. Level 2, 9 0, Skymatic 0, 2, 3. Skymatic 0, 2, 0, descend 3,600 feet, QNH 1, 0, 1, 0. Descend 3,600, Skymatic 0, 2, 0, QNH uh, 1, 0, 0, 8. I say again, the QNH at Cordova, 1010. 1010 at Cordova, thank you. You're welcome. Break, Skymati 006, fly heading 230, final vector, clear for approach, runway 19. Call me for the establish. 006, please repeat that. Heading is 230, sir. Heading 230, clear for approach, runway 19. Skymatic 020, left heading 270. 
Left heading 270, Skymatic 020. Yes, you have to wait six minutes. Descending to 3,600 feet, QNH 1010, Skymatic 001. Approaching transition. Zero five eight established final on runway one nine. Roger. Wind one eight zero degrees one six not clear to land runway one nine. Uh, zero five eight go around. Okay. Uh, going around, climb, uh, uh, climb 3,600 feet, maintain runway heading, sir. Thousand to level off. Did you copy 058? Transition level. 058, copy, fly runway heading. Okay, and climb 3,600 feet. 3,600 feet, Skymatic 58. Okay, confirm the reason of the go around, sir. Unstable approach. Okay, go. Skymatic 006, uh, you are clear for approach around with one niner, call me for establish. Clear for approach around with one niner. Break, break. Uh, um, Skymatic 020, left heading 230, final vector clear for approach, runway 19 er call me for the establish. Heading 230, Skymatic 20, we'll call you when we're established. Skymatic 001, fly heading north for Skymatic 001. Uh, Skymatic 001, fly heading north. Camate 0 5 reaching 3600 feet, fly left heading 0 9 0. feet, 0 9 0, climatic spike.
Kaimati 001, left heading 270. Left heading 270, Skymatic 001. Skymatic 0060, wind 180 degrees, 16 knot, clear to land runway 19. Fly heading north. Fly heading north. I hope we don't crash. Last time was not enough. Oh, this woman and her stories. Uh, please repeat 4001. Yes, I confess. Left heading 230, final vector, clear for approach runway 19er, call me for establishment. Cleared for approach runway 19er, we'll call when established comment 001. Skymatic 020 established on the IR localizer. Okay, uh, wind uh, 180 degrees, 60 Nokia to land runway 19er. Flaps 5 set. Clear to land runway 19er, Skymatic 020. Uh, blogger man, you are saying the truth there. She needs counseling, definitely. Localizer capture. All right, turning on the localizer, and that's my daughter calling me. Can you believe it?
Skymatic 001 established on the localizer for runway 19. Roger, sir. Wind 180 degrees, 16 knots, clear to land number 2, runway 19. Clear to land number 2, runway 19, Skymatic 001. <laughs> William. Mathematics 20, runway vacated. Thank you very much. After vacating, you make the unicorn. 1 to 2 decimal 8. Have a nice evening. See you. 1 to 2 decimal 8. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your service today. Go ahead. Good day. Wide slope capture. Flaps 15 set. Hi uh, guys, remember to stay online for 6 minutes to lock your pirate. Approximately for five ten minutes. You got it. Three thousand six hundred feet. Three thousand feet stabilized, Mr. Burchell. Taxi lights on. Three thousand six hundred feet. If you write like this, probably they are going to reject this truck. Why? Why? You need to tell them I have disconnected due to the uh, communication error. Yes, yeah, communi uh, communication yeah, error. You, if you, if you, with all due respect, if you read what I've put, that's exactly what I've put. Stuck at flight 11 at 1100, so disconnected, landed and reconnected. Approaching 1-8. Mr. Uncle John, I think you need to listen Mr. Uncle Nico. No, 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 I can't uh, concentrate on that now. I trust Uncle John. Let him do it. If they reject it, we fly the route again tomorrow. That's as easy as that. Yeah, it's the way. Yeah. Stuck at level, flight level 1100, so disconnected, landed and reconnected after five minutes. But and prior, to that, two. prior to that, I'd put problems with no, uh, no ATC. Sacco, problems with no ATC, stuck at flight level 11,000, so disconnected, landed and reconnected. Okay, so try it, set. Per app appending. And it says the, the per up was sent. That's fine, then we just wait. And Very thank good, you, I think. Thank you for your help. Yeah. 250 FPM. It is a really good one.
It is nice. 60 knots. Yeah. Great landing. You are professional. Click yeah. the Thor status, Uncle John. Thor status, don't click that. Sorry? Thor status in the left column. Tour, tour status. Okay, Matthew, zero, zero, one, you're landing 1837. One, two, wait two, there, three, wait eight. a little Come bit. Thank you for your assistance, sir. You were marvelous. Uh, going one to two decimal eight. Uh, good day, Skymatic zero zero one. Uh, Christian, I'm glad you liked it, man. I'm really, really glad you liked it. And there's 49 more to go. All the ticks are standing here. Man, I love you guys. This is a strange way of taxiing in. We'll try and follow the rules. And this little line. <laughs> Ooh, this is a tight squeeze. Thank you, Santiago. Let's have a look, see there. can actually go forward a little bit. Right, so let's get this APU on the bus. Okay, guys, I'm on Unicom. I've parked off and uh, busy shut Refresh, down. refresh, Uncle John. Don't change this page. Still pending. We are nervous, Mr. Uncle Nico. I can hear that. Don't be, don't be. What is, is? They are going to accept, I believe. By the way, it's amazing. Looking at a small airfield somewhere in Argentina, and the only uh, aircraft you see is Skymatics, 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 <laughs> and more. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. I love it. A dream come true. Absolutely. And some FedEx. Yeah. Skymatics. Well, guys, thank you so much for flying with. Um, let me quickly stop this timer and start the six minute timer so we know when we can log off and continue doing other things. So, um, it was a pleasure flying with you guys tonight. Um, hats off to this poor ATC guy that had to handle everything when the other guys, you know, left him. So, he tried. Um, <laughs> Don't know how true it is, but I think there's a bit of a...
communication gap maybe because of accent I'm not sure and maybe a bit of nerves on both sides but guys I liked it I really enjoyed this flight and I hope you did as well me too it was fantastic airport and there is uh, Tix58 coming lovely how many other Tixes are supposed to come in let's see One, one more, one more. Uncle John, refresh. Tix 23 still needs to come in, that's core. There's a couple go rounds too. No pending. Dun, 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 dun. Don't tease him, I can Uncle John. Mr. Uncle John, Mr. Nico calls you. Yeah, every time I go away, I have to reconnect again. So go to, so the, the, that shouldn't happen, should it, Nico? Every time I come away and get into the... Yeah, uh, you need to run it as administrator. I do. Mm -mm, no, it, it must have done an update and it kicks it off. You have to reset the administrator. Luna, say thanks for the follow. In, in, in Discord. Yeah, yeah. In, not in Discord. In uh, you right-click on the icon and then set the administrator there on the outside. Oh, on the outside. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's how I normally load it. Okay, now it needs to do it. One of the things that I noticed, believe it or not, is that um, when when the ATC guy didn't hear me. Um, was when I lost focus of the um, Aveo pilot client and it only did it that once it's never done it again I can click on anything and I can actually transmit now but in that instance that he was looking for me I had to physically go and get the focus back and then do it you know to talk to him so anyway one of those things what I think I might do is Nico is re reassign my other control key in case it's that mm. one you're right to see to see all of these schematics all together is amazing okay come true yeah uncle john yes sir um i want to speak to you afterwards quickly privately okay uncle, no problem sir uncle nico have you disconnected during flight no sir Nothing, not once. Uh, yeah, a couple of us uh, faced with the same situation. We have disconnected. Um, yeah, look, the Iveo uh, directors are watching the stream. They are very well aware of what happened and they know that it's a ISP issue. It's an internet issue, it's not our issue. So they are aware of it. Okay. I did actually announce it on my stream. You obviously just didn't hear me say that. Uncle John, refresh. Gentlemen, I'm having issues trying to find the, uh, okay. the how to file my PIRAP. Can somebody point me in the right direction, please? Which PIRAP? The one on Iveo? No pending. Yeah, the Iveo. I've got the VA one filed already, yes. All right, okay. Please, please give me two more minutes, then I'm going to do it live on stream, and then you can just follow me, okay? Awesome. Thanks, Nico. Okay. I just need to wait my six minutes before I disconnect. So the moment that is done, we can do everything together. What button do I press? How can I have done it? What happened, Uncle Joe? I've uh, closed that and reopened it in case it didn't refresh properly. Okay. And all it's... Click my message, uh, don't enter the long way. Okay. 
Right, 30 seconds, uh, then we can do this. Don't be keen, sir. You need to a little bit prolong it. Hmm. Even 5 minutes, 59 seconds can be problem for you. The departure times, the arrival times, is that Zulu? Yes, always. Thank you. And it's a rotate time and on time, so when you your landing instance time and your rotation time. All right, I've just gone through the six minutes. So I'm going to drag the tracker first of all. So just to recap with that, and then I'm going to disconnect, obviously. Disconnect, yes. And then we're going to bring this world tour thing as, over as well. So I just want to see the tracker here. Yeah, I think I'm going to disconnect. That hasn't picked up on me yet. All right, okay. So while that one is thinking, um, guys, if you go to the PyRep for the IFR World Tour, you will find that at uh, the actual tour page. Do you need a link? Must I share a link with you guys quickly? Let's do that. I'm putting it here in Skymatics chat. So if you don't know where the page is, just click on that link quickly. It's in the World Tour section anyway. So, um, but you can click on that link. That brings us to over here. Today is the 16th, I think. Yes, it is the 16th. TIX001 is my call sign. Your Skymatic stream or YouTube team stream, Nico? YouTube, YouTube. I'm looking for the times. Let me go and see if I can catch it here in. Tracker seems to be fairly accurate. Well, the tracker is not updating for me yet. So if the tracker doesn't update, I'm going to check if I can get it in my logbook. We'll see now. There we go. There, oh, we go. there it is. There it is. ACL to Seiko. So I'm going to click on there. All right. And All right. there we oh, go. Yes. So your name is your uh, cockpit. Uh, okay. I beg your pardon. Thank you. There you go. There's the, there's the page. So... It has just refreshed there there is the actual flight so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at that time it's 1725 Zulu was the last yellow one and we need to look at the yellow one because that's takeoff so that's 1725 17.25 was departure time and arrival time is that one, 18.38 Zulu. Mine's still pending. 18.38. Okay, and then the actual ATC that I contacted was that guy and that's it so we go click send all right so there you go pirep is pending i have three flights in my tracker for this and uh, i never actually disconnected at any time uh, you must uh, just check how you read it. Remember, the one is ground speed and the one is altitude. So you need to check which one is which. Okay, so just make sure. And if there is more than one, obviously it's a network issue. The guys are aw are aware of the network. So just give it your best guess there. 
you can also look if you look down to the track data it will show you your elevation so you should pick up somewhere here around about 1731 1728 you see there 1728 we were already in the air so it's it's a rough guesstimate what's it my Scott the best way is using ordinary pen and pencil and paper all right okay um yeah that's it i've logged it for the the va i've logged it inside of stkp we've logged the pirip with iveo so now we just have to wait until they actually approve it or not well, if they don't i'll fly it again tomorrow yeah what happened well it, they they look Guys, these guys are not going to sit here and just do it just for us, okay? I mean, they grace us with our presence and they help us, you know, to the best of their ability. Let's give them a couple of minutes, you know, let's go make coffee, think about it, and then if we come back, you know, maybe it's taken into account and, uh, you know, agreed already. So let's see. Um, in the interim, I'm going to stop the stream. Thank you, everybody, for flying with and everybody watching. You guys were awesome today. This flight was awesome. We're going to have a lot more like this. Um, don't let the teething problem get to you. We'll, we'll sort it out. We're all going to be pros when this is done. So thanks again. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. Nico, before you go, thanks a million for doing all the work you've done in setting this BA up. Unbelievable. Now, Uncle John, it's a pleasure. I know you saw behind the scenes a little bit that other guys didn't see. I did work hard and all. And you know what? I'm doing it for us all. It's not just for me or for anybody else. It's for everybody. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. That's all I want. I just want you to enjoy it. And thank Gosh. you for that. Thank you very much, Nico. Much appreciated. You're welcome.